Hello gamers, welcome to the 113 video. Starting at 81%, we have ourselves a Lakeville encounter coming up. Now, in this MM with tier 8s, tier 9s and tier 10s, City is a most definite option. The things to be careful about though, is getting crossfired from the middle, from that 4 line area. Action for this game, 7.6k, that's brave Andres, that's brave. Thank you for the 25, my man. Why am I alone? Like, why am I alone? My i7 is in the valley, my T95 is still far away, and the only thing I really have with me is the Skoda, so pushing up to the city would be concerning if the enemy team is there in force. Nice, both those guys in the middle died. Shocker. Who could see that coming? I'm alone, you have us. Uh huh. I still feel pretty alone, though, right now. We're not going through the zero line because it's too easy to get out spotted there and shot, but you have to be careful with this road as well. You could get shot from A6, A7, and from the middle. Luckily, we managed to do it unspotted. Need uh, my gun to perform it now. Completely outplaying the 277 is amazing for me in the city. I've neglected the fact that my i 7s is in the valley, and I can now continue to trade against everybody else, as their top tier heavy is basically dead. Hey, well, the enemy team is just dying. What can I do about it? My team's pushing down one, two, so we actually have to start picking up the pace. They have won the valley. I gotta start farming. With the IS-3 having such little HP left, I want to move on to the next step already. Finding some more damage along the way. early we didn't trade that much hp allowing us now to push forward and taking a lot of damage but surviving getting the assist and more importantly getting the damage the t44 tries to channel his other kamikaze but sadly for him not working out I don't know how we did five in this, so actually, I don't know how we did six in this, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, it worked out, I guess. We managed to get a massive combined game here by realizing the fact that my team was pushing Valley and using that momentum in the city ourselves. 6k of the 21, 9k if you take the combined out of the 21, actually. Welcome to 93.86 and Bilson Encounter. Now my usual play on the encounter is go towards G4, G5, because from there you can destroy the doors on the other side, and usually there's at least one or two unsuspecting enemies crossing. I like this more than straight committing into the city, because at least from this position you can do a little bit of free damage and rotate where is needed to support the team. What? A very good trade. 1.8k damage for a limited amount of 294. We take those. I shouldn't in the cab. I should block him a shot for the... We're just pressuring the cap so we can shoot both to the left and the right and potentially farm enemies trying to reset or push up to the TS and get shots onto the backs of the factory tanks. Who repeats that? I just don't expect a repeat, yeah? Why? For some mysterious reason, the TS-54 just kept peeking, and we don't say no to a freebie, especially when we are high at the mark. Uh, 
With the Centurion finally driving away and having enough from the fight with me, it's time to turn our attention towards the Ferdinand, the Charlemagne, and the SDI. What's happening? With my teammates pushing up, I decided to go for the Charlemagne as it's just an easier target at this moment in time and free damage. Doesn't the Charlemagne have dog shit then? Free yeah, farm on the Charlemagne is over. Now it's time to continue onwards, ignoring the M5 wives as he doesn't have any HP left. Hard game. I uh, I was sweating. Compensation game, I guess. This could actually be something. If you can go K line and then push up and spot the TDs in the base while also simultaneously farming the enemy team, we may actually be able to uh, get a lot out of this. Big streamer game potential, yes. Now, when you're pushing this on Sound River, you gotta make sure that you are supported in force. Doing this by yourself usually gets you YOLO, so you only really commit in early when you can see, like I have right now, quite a few teammates behind me. Even though I have teammates behind me, they haven't really done much pushing up. The motion I actually build and the rest of them are a little far behind and the enemy team is looking for blood. Stupid Eulorus, bro. That bounces, by the way. Please die before you reach me. Thank you, STB. I appreciate that, buddy. With the V4 finally down, it's time to shut down the BZ as well. Teaching these guys to never YOLO in again. Time to push back up, boys. Moving towards the outside here is just superior for the tank. You don't really have the gun depression to play close, but you definitely do from the position over here. I can't really flame the V4. Earlier I was complaining that my V4s were uh, not doing anything, aka okay, just being super passive. I love how he misses, but he hits. Unless he predicted that I was going to go full speed forward, that should have been a miss. You know what I mean? Unless he's that well and truly ahead of the curve. Because unless he can predict that I'm like going to go full speed forward, that should have been a miss. The one amazing thing about the 113 is the amount of DPM it has available. When you have a lot of targets like this and your gun is working, you're just able to put shot after shot into the enemy team. Why is he unwilling to peek now? He was so willing to peek like 10 seconds ago. Bro, somebody clipped that one, dude. I, I want to see that one back, actually. I really want to see that one back. I told you it had a lot of potential, boys. Like in this case, it's an I told you so moment. After an unfortunate gold shell through the Progetto, it's time to head to the enemy base and finish off the remaining tanks. Despite the gun trolling, we managed to shut down the 268 V5 and secure our third mark of excellence. It is a wonderful TPG. With 75 battles at 65% win ratio and 5,199 DPG, we did only 3 marked to 113, but also took the first place on the leaderboard for the vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed watching.